Hello everyone and welcome back to my page. Today we're going to be talking about the Samsung SSD 850 EVO M.2 install on everything Mini ITX. Now, as you can see, this is a form factor that, you know, is really gaining popularity. It's small, it uh, very simply one screw and in it goes. And uh, will really increase your access read write speeds over the SATA 6 um, and this is this is a you know all in all I've got a 250 gigabyte that I installed in uh, my uh, personal rig and uh, overall you know it wasn't um, it wasn't a bad uh, product it it does what it says uh, installed easily um, found it easily as a hard drive so there wasn't any real issues with it however I did try to make sure everything on the system was you know migrated over so I downloaded the data migration tool which I'm going to open up for you and I'm going to kind of show you why this product failed so I'm gonna say I'm not gonna do update I'm just gonna cancel and go the Go to the uh, page here. So here, SSD, migrated over. I'm going to say start. And you're going to see here, I've got plenty of room to take this to this, my C drive, and just clone it over. Warning, yes. Continue. So I'm going to go along here, just going to take a minute for it to do its thing. It's verifying the information on the hard drive, and you're going to see it's going to fail. Every time I do this, it looks like it's already locked up. Oh, there we go, and it failed. Cloning failed. Target disk has been disconnected. Okay, now I have done everything in my power to get it to migrate over from this drive to my target Samsung SSD 850 EVO M.2 250 gigabytes. So I am completely um, at a loss of words of why this will not uh, migrate that information over. I formatted the SSD. A couple times to try to get that done, but uh, I cannot use it as a bootable disk. Um, and I'll do it again as a start and just show you every time I do this, it fails. Oh, and I canceled it. But anyways, it, it just fails every single time. So what can I say about the product? It is a good product for those that are building a mini ITX machine and want a blazing fast uh, boot times if you can get it to install. I can't. I have an Asus Z97i Plus board that uh, has it on the backside, easy install, but failed to migrate over and uh, get this thing, get this thing uh, going faster. So what I've done is I've taken my programs and I have to, uh, when I execute a game or something, it's already on this on this drive. So um, I can't get the blazing fast boot speeds, but I can get the blazing fast uh, load speeds on some other programs I use. So that's it for today. I would say if you are looking for a product... You might want to not go with the M.2 and just go with the standard SSD Evo 850 Evo hard drive, and that might give you better results. But uh, I cannot, uh, I cannot give you a thumbs up on this product, as it uh, is not very friendly on trying to migrate your data over. So that's it. If you guys like this, please subscribe below. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down, it really allows me to just kind of gauge how I'm doing on my reviews for you. This was a review of the Samsung SSD 850 EVO M.2, and it is a thumbs down for a bootable drive.